Hey folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of JavaScript and beyond. I'm Pupo, your guide on this coding journey. Have you ever wondered how to handle object references more gracefully in JavaScript? Well, today is the day where we'll unravel the mystery of WeakRef. Stick around as we explore the power of WeakRef, its real-world application, and how it can help you write more efficient and reliable JavaScript code. But before we dive in, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and write the notification bell so you never miss out our in-depth tech content. And now, let's get started! WeakRef works by creating a weak reference to an object. This reference does not count toward the object reference count and does not prevent it from being object collected. To access the object, you can call the deref method on the weakref instance. If the object is still alive, the method will return the object, otherwise it will return undefined. To use weakref in your codebase, you have to follow this step. Create a new weakref instance by passing the object you want to reference as an argument. To access the object, call the deref method on the weakref instance. And then, uh, to check if the object is still alive, you have to test if the object is not undefined. If it is undefined, is, uh, is gone, has gone, else uh, is, uh, the, the object exists and you can use it. But when weakref can be helpful? Weakref can be helpful in several scenarios, such as caching. Use weakref to create a cache for expensive to create object. When an object is not longer needed, it can be garbage collected automatically frees up memory. DOM element reference. In web application, you can use weakref to hold the reference to, the DOM, to a DOM element. This can help prevent memory leak when you need to keep track of element for event handling or manipulation. Resource cleanup. When working with external resources like file or network connection, you can use weakref to keep track of those uh, resources. If the resources become unused, it can be automatically released. Memoization. Implement memoization using weakref to store the result of a function call. This allows you to cache function result without preventing the input uh, argument from being garbage collected when there is no longer needed. Here is a simple example. There is a start counter that accepts an HTML element and save it in a weakref. Then uh, run a set inter interval every second and using the deref method check if the element is undefined, clear the interval and clear the ref, as update the content. Then, after uh, 7 seconds, using a simple set interval, another function remove the element from the DOM. In this case, when the element uh, is, removing, is removed from the DOM, uh, in this case the, the weak ref wait until the garbage collector remove the element from the memory and when the element is removed the, the ref method return undefined when the, the ref method return undefined our code start uh, run the if branch code and clear the interval clear the ref and uh, exit from uh, from the execution and this is a pretty simple example of the benefit of using uh, WeakRef in our code base. And also this, uh, this approach prevents memory leak. But now it's time to see this, uh, this code in action. Okay, here is the code in action. There is a simple counter and after 7 seconds the, the DOM element disappears. As you can notice the set interval continues running in this case. But if I simulate the gadget collection, in this case, as you can notice, now the element is gone and the set interval stop its execution. As, it, um, as you can see, it's a fantastic uh, and very easy to use WeakRef in our JavaScript code and we can, prevent, um, we can prevent memory leak in our application. And uh, that's it. I hope you like this uh, simple example.
That's a wrap, folks. We've uncovered the magic of WeCraft in JavaScript. If you are excited to apply this knowledge in your project, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more in-depth te uh, tech content. Got question or suggestion for next video? Drop them in the comments. Your input drives this channel. Thanks for joining us today. Keep coding, keep innovation, and until next time, happy hacking!